you walk up to the vehicle with the key, it has the full proximity key system. And I have it set to where it will unlock the doors. And you can see it unlocks the door and there's a little light behind the handle here. And the interior lights turn on. Uh, but other than that, there's no exterior lights that turn on. They just flash for a second when it locks and unlocks, but there's no approach lights or anything like that um, to help you navigate the ground to get to the vehicle or anything like that. Now there is, when you hit the unlock button, basically the same deal on the interior lights, the handle, but the front and lights and the tail lights turn on. This is definitely helped out with safety and stuff uh, with getting to your vehicle, especially in a parking lot and kind of informs other people that there's somebody around. So um, it, they briefly, they go out quickly, but when you unlock the doors, that's what happens. The vehicle's on right now and using the headlight switch to the off position actually turns off all the exterior lights. Some vehicles don't let you do that, but this one you can completely go dark. Now I have the parking lights on and the parking lights here on the front is, uh, they're amber in color, which is interesting. So you can see, let me turn the brightness down a little bit here. You can see they're like these little pixels, kind of three-dimensional pixels, kind of poke out. And hopefully you can see that. Okay, so I have to adjust the color, uh, the, the camera a little bit, but this is basically what I see. It's an amber uh, color with the little protruding square pixels there and then an amber side marker as well. The side marker is quite bright here on the front. Tail lights are on. There's a red side marker here in the back on the side. And we have a kind of a little bit lighter red uh, tail light that goes all the way across the back. And let me see if I can lower down the brightness here a little bit so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, that's nice. That looks really nice. Really impressive. It's the same kind of raised square pixels. And there's two rows, and it's the upper row right now that's illuminated. The lower row is not illuminated. We'll see the lower row when we see the brake lights and stuff. So the, the, the brake lights are really cool because they, um, they fill in the entire back of the vehicle, uh, but they also have a really sharp third brake light in the rear spoiler which looks good uh, the reverse lights are at the very bottom the bright white LEDs and, and they're they're pretty good too they're kind of in this low position though turn signal is a very is basically the same amber light it's just much brighter so once again let me lower the brightness on the camera so you can see it hopefully see it's the same light it's just flashing much much brighter it's amber in color here in the front uh, we also has a, have a turn signal indicator here on the side mirror, which is also amber and has little pixels here. So it's amber in color and it's visible from the front, the side, and the back. And the turn signal here in the back is red, which I was kind of surprised since we had all that amber going on in the front. Uh, we just have a red, but it's quite bright. It's blasting out the camera here. So let me turn the brightness down. And you can see it fills in, it gets the top portion is brighter uh, and then it fills in the bottom portion that just adds, just there's no mistake in that turn signal. It's nice and bright and it has like a little animation effect, I guess, too. All right, now for the low beams, there's the low beams and we're gonna look at it going down the road and everything. Um, but the low beams are a, projector uh, beam and you can see that it's both projectors are illuminated even on the low beams so we can see both of them are adding light now you'll notice that the you will notice that the inner portion will uh, make the high beams come to life um, we'll get to that in a minute but but yeah it's basically two projectors on each side and they look pretty good nice and bright white All right, so the cutoff, I'm gonna stand back here a little bit, dip down, and the cutoff is, it's about two and a half feet off the ground, something like that, maybe two feet, quite low cutoff. So you can see it's not blinding the camera, now blinding the camera. So you'd have to be really low 
uh, for these low beams to to blind you. They're they're positioned nicely to where the uh, you can see the road, but it's not blinding other drivers. All right, so there's low beams, there's high beams. You can see a big difference there. And once again, we're gonna go down the road. You're gonna see what it looks like actually driving. Okay, so now <laughs> that inner portion is full blast. So basically it's kind of the same view. It's two lights on, but uh, from this angle, it's two lights, but uh, this inner portion is much brighter and angled up quite a bit. So, so yeah, we got some, we got some serious lights now. I like the way the tail lights are bright enough to where you can see the button here to open up the power trunk. Looking at the trunk, it does have the backlit buttons to close the power trunk here, which is good. Uh, but also, it has a single light for the il illuminating the trunk right here, and it's quite bright. Uh, but even with the brightness, it's still going to cast some shadows. You can see around this case is shadows and it goes in here a little bit, but there's shadows in the corners, you know, back in here and stuff. Um, but overall, I think it's okay. I mean, it's okay to light because of the brightness. Having it in the center and having it quite bright um, helps out a lot. Now, we have black interior here on the trunk, which doesn't help, but, uh, but it's okay. The inside of the back door, uh, no puddle lights or anything like that, no pocket lights. The only light that it has is the single light for finding the power window. That's it. Other than that, it's completely dark. The back seats are illuminated with a single uh, dome light here in the center. And it does a decent job because of the brightness and the, the locations in the center. It illuminates the floor a little bit and the seats, okay. Uh, with the black interior, um, I'm surprised it does as well as it does. So the lighter interior probably looks great. There is two USB-C charge ports back here, which are also illuminated. And there's a pocket just under here, which is not illuminated. The inside of the front door, um, no illumination whatsoever because the door window switches are in the center here in the front. Um, so there's no lights here in the pocket. I mean, you can see this is plastic is translucent which is kind of neat uh, but yeah these pockets are not illuminated the handles not illuminated nothing there's no floorboard illumination and the lights are coming from the center right here they're basically the um, two lights right there like the map lights now the light in the dome light kind of helps out here in the front when the door is opened so I'm sitting inside the vehicle with the interior lights on you can see pretty good uh, but when we turn off the interior lights, we have black interior, which doesn't help uh, with seeing in here. But um, So let's go ahead and start here on the, the door. is completely dark. To the left of the steering column, have some backlit buttons. Floorboard is dark. Steering wheel is backlit illuminated, all the little buttons on it. Even the four lights here in the center, which is H in Morse code, they also illuminate and pulse. Um, letting you know the state of charge as well, which is pretty cool. So the gauge cluster um, is quite bright right now, but you can adjust the the brightness. So we'll go ahead and lower it down so you can see the different views there. You can see it goes that center screen as well. I like it on the brightest uh, illumination. Now the camera is a little bit turned up a little bit, so it kind of looks brighter than what it looks like in real life. I'll see all these backlit buttons here. Let's go ahead and put it in reverse so we can see what the camera looks like. Uh, yeah, cam camera's, like I said, way too bright here. So let's go ahead and bring this down so we can see what it looks like. Yeah, you can see pretty good on this camera. All right, let me bring the brightness back up because there's some stuff you just can't see in here because it's so dark. Um, so let me turn on the interior light because right in here, this compartment's dark. There is a backlit USB port there. Cup holders are dark. These are backlit. This is dark, this little compartment. This compartment is completely dark without the interior lights on. The only thing that's illuminated in here is two USB-C charge ports. So that's completely dark. I turn off the interior light. That's all you see. All right, glove compartment has a really nice bright light and it's a big, useful 
glove compartment. So I'm glad they have a nice bright light there. Okay, so up here, um, so we have these reading lights and they, they illuminate uh, right in the lap area, which is perfect. It doesn't blind the driver, it gives you a good reading light. Now it'll turn on all the interior lights by pressing that button. And if you don't want the interior lights to turn on when you open the door, you can turn that feature off here. Now the visors have lights, um, but you have to manually turn them on there. So you can see the little switch right there. And if you accidentally leave them on, then you just close this and it hits it and it turns it off, which is pretty cool. So you can see as I drive, there's a cut off there in the bushes. And there's basically like this little notch that you'll see. Let's go over here to this fence. All right, so you see that fence there and there's like a little notch and um, that is to line up with the oncoming lane. So when you're going up and down hills and stuff, it helps to avoid blinding other drivers. So it just kind of lowers in that one spot. Here's a good shot right here. So you can see the low beams and there's the high beams. All right, and it also has automatic high beams. And usually Hyundai does a good job with their automatic high beams. So hopefully this one will be no exception. Um, so I'm always skeptical. When it comes to automatic high beams, I'm always skeptical because uh, they tend to flash other drivers and cause problems because when you have really bright LED headlights and then your automatic high beams don't work properly Then it could be a problem in my opinion. So So yeah, I prefer to have Control over them so I can quickly lower and dim the high beams, which is good. So with the low beams on like now, uh, you can see they're gonna shine on the road right in here. And you should be able to, a little bit, yeah, you can kind of tell that that notch is lining up with the oncoming lane. Uh, so that kind of helps out with these going up and down these little hills from avoid blinding other drivers. So I'm gonna pull over for a second. Let them go ahead. All right, so now the automatic high beams should turn on soon. There we go. And this is relatively dark road and it has a, a good offset from the road as far as the trees and stuff. So we can get a good idea of how well we can see on the side of the roads 
and the distance and everything. Now these aren't the best headlights I've seen, but they're pretty good, especially for a an EV, which has to take, you know, has to be very efficient with electricity. Uh, this is pretty good. I mean, I can see pretty well, and the distance is good. The, it's just the brightness isn't, like, it could be slightly brighter, like on a regular gas car, they usually have these a little bit brighter, but these are bright enough. I mean, these are fine. I can see just fine. Uh, on the side of the road, the distance is good. Um, the light is evenly distributed on the road. It's not patchy. Uh, considering we have four lights that add up, it does a good job of spreading it out over the road and giving a good pattern. So yeah, I think these are good lights. I think these are um, definitely adequate headlights. They're not like super surprising, fantastic, wow headlights, uh, but they are definitely good and I would be satisfied with these headlights for sure.